Coming up on Entertainment News, microbiologist turned actor Simon Peacemaker summons courage for his first cinema debut. This one's called Your Father. Do enjoy. It's true indeed that a bad wife or a bad husband is preferable to a bad in-law. And if I'm still married to him and he cannot accept that, then he will have no peace. Two years after making his first film, Secret Room, which got five nominations at the prestigious African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards in 2015, microbiologist turned filmmaker Simon Peacemaker is ready to make a cinema debut with your father. Some, some issues are best handled by elders. I, 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 okay? think, I think you are very right. But that would have been possible if her mother was not very irresponsible. What are you doing here, mom? What does that mean? Your husband called me and told me you were very ill. In fact, he said you were on the verge of dying. What? That's why I came. The comedy drama stars Chiweta Luagu, Jennifer Iliogu, Lisa Omorodion and Ike Ogbona as strange bedfellows bound by marriage. I tell people I'm an advocate for good marriage, lovely homes and all that. Married with three kids, me, got married 2001. So I've seen so many friends with you know, broken marriages and having issues with their marriages. So, okay, I said, why not tell, as a filmmaker, why not pass information while making things? So I woke up one morning and this inspiration came to me. My wife was the first person I told and she said, this is, this is going to be a bomb. I said, okay, I trust her, so why not? I called my scriptwriter, and today I have your father. It's a story that has to do with marriage issues, you know, and having um, the way our parents interfere with our marriages. So this is a story that will tell you where you're supposed to start, where you're supposed to stop, what you're not supposed to do as a parent, and what you're not supposed to do as a husband and a wife. So it's a movie in one, so much in one. It's comedy, which is what is trending now. So what other way to pass your information? Why not through comedy? Highly informative, get people entertained. So while you're watching, you're learning, you're laughing, but while, while you're going home, you're picking one or two things from it. So that's pretty much like it. Hey! In somebody else's house? Are you a woman? What are you doing for in her kitchen? Oko ko ko ko. Oko ko 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 ko. Atmospheric? Oko ko ko ko. Sit down. I will check out if there's soup remaining. Two! Kina de! Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ogbona plays Chibogu, husband to Yemesi, a character played by Lisa Mordion. In trying to build a successful inter-ethnic marriage, the couple quickly comes to the realization that their differences are not all they have to deal with. Their parents are another matter entirely. I subbed my co-producer. After reading the story, we had to send to some key actors that we know could carry the, the, you know, the role. We wanted someone that can sell the, the movie too, and the same actor that can be able to carry the role. We thought, okay, the father to IQ Obun now, supposed to be an evil man, so why not go for Chiwet Alago? We sent him the script, he fell in love with the script. So, okay, who's going to play the son, IQ Obun now? They've not acted to, together before, so they had to do some communication between them to, to get across with, you know. So I, I said, okay, I needed someone to play the Yoruba mother. I wanted Rachel Oniga, but somehow, somehow we couldn't get her. And I thought, okay, Jennifer Liogo. And I called her, she fell in love with the story. So, and I called another person who is Lisa Omoredo, who was like a sister. So she played the, uh, the daughter of to Jennifer Eliogo. And trust me, it was a casting made in heaven. It does not make sense to me, Dad. It does not make sense to me. Then why don't you stop being stubborn and listen to someone? Hey, 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 hey. The core of the movie is driven by conflict, a major element Peacemaker employs to tell his story. If you talk to my daughter like that one more time, I will blind those your eyes for you. Oh, you think the kidnappers are stupid? They look well, they know where there is something. They are not looking for briefcase carrying people. Don't I look like someone that's in trouble? Your father. Your mother. Your father. Your very your own mother. Your, your mother. mother. I know it sounds abusive and all that, but I was looking for something to captivate my audience and the best way to tell my story. Okay, so one day while we were shooting on set, 
actually this was not supposed to be the title of the movie. It was supposed to be like a fair reunion. So but why filming? And some of the actors just said, your father. And he sticked. I'm like, fantastic. God just, you know, make you speak this word. And I just took it from there. And since then, it's been trending. So. Ordinary phone call. He got body work. I got this stuff. I not share secretary. Look at this one looking like doll baby from my papa cat. Eh? Doll baby? Eh? Me, doll baby. Doll baby? It's better. It's better than looking like an ugly chimpanzee. Just the way you look. Peacemaker may have started making films in 2015, but he is no newcomer to entertainment. He started out with a dance studio as a choreographer, after which he took up acting. Today, he is cutting his teeth as one director to watch out for. Uh, one of the things I've learned is being able to tell our story. Okay, not, not going to tell the Hollywood kind of story. You have the Avenger or someone flying from... We can't do that. It's not our story. So. Another thing is being professional to the core, based on technicality, you know, the way you tell yourself for people to relate. So um, I've done pretty much like three, four rape kind of stories. And I tell you what, one of my friends told me, one of my movie rights is about rape, that he's not going to watch it, that it's so sorrowful and all that. And I said, but this is what we live with. This is what we have in our society. Okay, I said, this is comedy trending now. I said, okay, why not pass an information, okay, through comedy? pass another information about marriages and all that. So what, m most of the things I've learned is about telling our own stories and telling, telling it in a very technical and very professional way. What are you doing here, mom? What does that mean? Your husband called me and told me you were very ill. In fact, he said you were on the verge of dying. What? That's why I came, because I needed to see you before you died. I die. reject such hey, thoughts you know, in teacher's name. When a dog bites its owner, it gets put down. Could he die for you what in my head? Me, dog? Did your husband just call me a dog? Did your husband just call me a dog? Your father is shadow for release later on this year. If the both of you need counseling service, listen, I know of a very good and talented counselor that can handle crazy couples. What, 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 what are you trying to say? Are you calling us crazy? Are you, are you insulting me and my, my, my wife? Uh -huh. huh? So, we, we're now like crazy. crazy people. Because we, we came to your office, we're now crazy. Entertainment News will be back shortly. In the meantime, send your thoughts via Twitter. We are at channelstv underscore ENT.